session family. We're here in Lake. T Where are we? Tani Como. Tani Como. All of a sudden, that's Lake Tani Como. Uh, I'm not sure. In Hollis, Missouri. Okay. Uh, yeah. Welcome to another couch chat. I am Heather Salen for all of session um, field staff, and I am with JJ, who is the wife of field staffer Tyler Wolf, and we are going to talk about some fun things about hunting from mm -hmm. a wife's perspective mm -hmm. and what it looks like getting into hunting, um, different roles, and see what rabbit holes we can go down um, in the so hunting. So many. Yeah, there's so many so, we can go. So many rabbit holes. Well, I thank you for having me. I yes. didn't know it was part of the family. That's you are part of the family. That's very exciting. Um, thank you all for being patient with my husband and his big beard. <laughs> His beard has quite the following. Just so I you know. know, people, come on. His his ego's already pretty big. Let's <laughs> take it down a notch. Um, I am really excited to get to have this conversation with you because I feel like we are probably cut from the same cloth. Yes. My uh, my question to you is: How did you? How did? Have you always been hunting, or you know, how did you get involved? Because it because you have you fish, you hunt. Yes. You travel with your husband. Your I I married into it. Oh, I married into it. I did not grow up. I, I like that you say married. I I was bamboozled into it. That's Ooh, what you I know would what? say. Mm -hmm. That might be that might be a better way to say it because yeah. I, in order to spend time with my husband, yeah. I had to go out with him. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so he kind of like and then bribed me and he's like, "Yeah, I've got you a diamond." It was a diamond bow. Oh. Not a diamond. So nice. Although I did want one. Don't get yes. me wrong. But yes. uh, yeah, it was. I uh, you know, bamboozled might be a better word. Yeah, for it. I feel there's, there's been, <laughs> Tyler has bamboozled me into a lot of things. Marriage being one of them. But I, I am very grateful. <laughs> la 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 la. But um, yeah. So so you married us. So what what was your relationship with hunting prior to getting married? To Zero. Zero. I, I had no. Like I, I loved being outdoors, um, but um, I. I was in farming, but I was not in hunting. So uh, we would do a little bit of fishing, but it wasn't it wasn't a lot. Um, there wasn't much of the fishing that um, we would do pan fishing a little bit here and there, but it wasn't um, it wasn't uh, a, a big thing that we did with our family. Yeah. We didn't do a lot of it, um, and my family did not hunt. In fact, my husband actually got my brother really into hunting as well yeah. and now Tala's into it she's finished her her hunter safety um but yeah it definitely was not um, something that i i grew up with what do you think it's because because tyler is in the same situation mm -hmm. he grew up on a farm mm -hmm. where, you know a lot of livestock a lot of nature but from a business yeah. kind of standpoint do you think that that do you think that that maybe the families that live like that are they're just they're like i'm done being in nature. I think that definitely, that definitely helped and definitely played into it. Um, and going into that yeah. piece of, you know, it was an easier transition. Yeah. Um, because it wasn't hard to figure out how to do the food plots because I already did <laughs> mm -hmm. so much of it with, with the crops. We didn't have a ton of crops, but we did have a, have a few yeah. or we, you know, large, large gardens. Um, and then I, then it kind of, um, as I got into hunting and then I realized I had these huge gardens and then some of the, the what the deer did to destroy my gardens oh. and all the hard work that I put into it definitely made me think a little bit differently too because we have such a huge um, deer population where we're at in, in Michigan. Wow. Okay. So so you turned a tragedy. Yes. The death of your garden. Garden into a budding hobby. Yes. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. You're really positive. I enjoy trying. That. Yeah, trying. Just, <laughs> just change it up. Awesome. So how did so how did um, you kind of get suckered into uh, the, suckered is the right word? Yeah. Too. Yeah. Suckered into this uh, hobby, as you say, <laughs> yeah. this expensive hobby. Yes. Um. You know how did how did you kind of get worked into it with Tyler. Uh, same, same story. Um, he is a very good, uh, Tyler has a gift in which like he is able to, 
there, there's something about him. There's a magnetism about him mm -hmm. that um, makes you want to s either spend time with him. And he also uh, provides a platform for you to enter into mm -hmm. a place. So like the, you don't, you feel supported in oh, whatever, you know Absolutely. what I mean? Yep. Very safe. Very safe. And like, I, I'm somebody who likes to ask a lot of questions and he, um, all, he also always let me come to it on my own. So mm -hmm. we're, you know, in past life, we were marathon runners mm -hmm. and, you know, he was, he's very fast. He's very gifted yeah. athletically, which is really annoying. <laughs> um, but you know, we, we would go out and run together. I mean, I'm considerably slower. And then it just, over time, it just kind of like grew into something that we did. And so it very similar to hunting. Like he mm -hmm. would talk to me about it. Um, I think, I do think that you, when you are, when you have somebody like that, that's willing to share mm -hmm. you yourself need to be, um, curious. Oh yeah. You I know like what that. I, I like mean? That. Yeah. Because no, like great. if, if you're not interested, then it's going to be really hard to, you know, to find some commonality. And, and there's a big, there's a big piece of compromise with yeah. marriage and yeah, I definitely didn't have interest in it at first, mm -hmm. but I also knew if I wanted him to do some of the things I wanted to do, yeah. I had to, I had to give, I had to share, I had yeah. to, as you said, show some interest in it, genuine interest, yeah. not just the, the going fake, along for the ride. Yeah. yeah. And to actually ask those, those questions and to, to want to gain knowledge and understanding. Yeah. Um, and I definitely got into the, the processing and <laughs> the, the, the cooking and all of that with the wild game way and, and honestly helping them put up tree stands and helping with the food plots way before I ever decided that I was going to start hunting. Yeah. Well, I mean, this, this last year, um, in 2021 was the first time I ever got a deer, or like harvested a deer. Yeah. Um, and I, w I wish we had had video because we kind of came up on it. We tracked it. Yep. Um, we kind of came up on it and I was just like, oh my God, there it is. I don't know what to do. You know, I mean, <laughs> and I was like, is it going to jump up? And I was like, I hope it doesn't. But you know, it's, it's, uh, it's interesting because I've heard so many stories of him, like regaling his tales of, of, um, tracking down his deer and all of that. Yeah. Um, and then, but to have done it myself, like you just don't, it, I, I really feel like he was happy that he was able to tar partake in that yes. and see and see that. And that made me obviously proud, you yeah. know, so, um, and to share that experience with to you. share that. And, and that's another thing. So curiosity and the desire for shared experiences. Yes. Um, and I, I love that you brought up processing because that's kind of the role or where I'd like to participate in mm -hmm. this joint adventure yeah. um I, I you know i don't really know anything about planting anything i mean yep. I, I i have really bad depth perception so hunting is just really not yeah. not a, a a thing oh sorry <laughs> did you guys stay here last night yes the people above you weren't late and obnoxious loud all night were they there uh, was fine yeah we were <laughs> yeah no you, you're the kind of people we want to hang out with yes that's a, yes that's what we learned yes did yeah. you had, have a good time we had a great then okay. that's all that matters yes and then nobody fell down because we would have probably woken up four of us after six bottles of wine then we started doing cocktails oh boy that's you guys must have been today. yeah i would imagine <laughs> Um, what was I saying? I can't talking remember. about the processing. Oh yeah. The processing. So that, that was really my entry point. Okay. You know, I, Tyler is, uh, what, I, one of the other things that I really value about him is that he constantly wants to learn. And yep. I think with, oh yeah, I think with time. hunting. Yeah. I think that's the, another commonality is like, yep. they just, the, it's the, it's the problem solving. Yep. Different um, tactics, different ways yes. to process, different tools, tools, different. Yeah. So much. Yeah. It's always changing. So he, I, you know, I watched him kind of teach himself how to bow hunt and troubleshoot and, you know, go through a couple of years of like 
hunting on public land <laughs> yeah and not i've been out in like the cold dark yep. trying to track a deer i was like babe i don't know how to track a deer yep you know what i mean like go look just look for blood and i'm like I, it all it's fall it all looks like the that. leaves have yes, red on them yes. but um so then i think the first time he came home with a deer because he wanted to process it yeah. himself i was like oh i think i think i could do this for whatever i mean say what you will about people who like to process deer, yeah. but it's fascinating it's, yes. it's really fascinating to me um oh that's tala's probably favorite part she yeah. loves it. she absolutely loves it is obsessed yes. with it yeah. she will go through tal also wants to be a veterinarian and yeah she uh will go through and pull out the different organs and identify oh, yeah. them and um, yeah. dissect the heart and she's she's That's all about so, that well and the other thing is is that like i do feel like i'm providing i'm providing value to this experience like Absolutely. i'm doing i'm doing my part i, I am not the best shot i am mm -hmm. you know i don't sh you know shoot guns or bows or mm -hmm. whatever but i can do this one thing i can do this one thing and i can do it well um and that's important it, it definitely and then when we get to like share a meal you know what's great about it is that then like we've got a platform in which compliments automatically happen yep. this is a great cut this is you know my <laughs> my sister-in-law's like when she has some venison, she's like, I can, I can taste the marksmanship. And I'm like, <laughs> oh boy, I love somebody's that. ego just got real big. <laughs> well, and you know, we didn't even really touch on, we are at yeah. um, Lake Teddy Como in Missouri, trout fishing. And you were down there and you took care of all the fish. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean that it was funny because I was cleaning the fish and I've, I've kind of, devise my own way to do it. Yeah. The, the fast way to do it. When I first, when we first came down here, our, our kids were, uh, our boys were 10 years old or mm -hmm. whatever. And, um, so we had to, we were learning everything. We were learning uh, poles and line. And there was a really great gentleman that showed us how to, you know, bait or whatever. I don't even, I don't bait even know the word. So yeah, bait the hooks. <laughs> Rig it up. Rig it up. Yeah. Um, and, what I recall was that he showed me how to fillet a, a fish the way he did. Well, I just, I just messed it up. Like there was more fish Waste. wasted. And so I, the other thing, and this kind of goes back to like solving, mm -hmm. problem solving. And then, so I think eventually what we did was we decided, okay, we're going to do it this way. Yeah. And we found a way that could, um, that worked for us, mm -hmm. you know? I, so I, we didn't have, I didn't have to get all precious about like, oh, well the bones, you know, it, it, any of that. So I do think, yeah, I don't, I'm not a great fisherman. I'm like a little bit impatient. Mm -hmm. um, this is a very challenging location to, to fish it was, as you and Todd, I think. Yes. But you guys have been really successful. I mean, we, it's been, it's been a, Great start to the morning. Yeah. But um, Lake Tanicomo is off of a dam. So as um, Tyler's helped us learn that as the you know, middle of the day, they start to turn on some of the turbines and the mm -hmm. current is going through. And it's a it's a pretty significant current. Yeah. So Tyler and I got up at six this morning and went fishing and I caught two babies. Um, oh. And then he we set those free. Yeah. And then he caught two nice ones and then Tala has caught a good one. Mm -hmm. and oh, then the I, biggest one. The biggest one. She'll tell you. It's the biggest one. Yes. Um, and then I came up to do some schoolwork, and they flipped to the other side of the, mm -hmm. the deck, or the docks, and um, caught some more. Yeah. So I think, I think I cleaned five. I was going to say, I think yeah. it was five is where and we're they at. Were, they, they were, were pretty good. They were yeah. solid ones. Yeah. So... Um, I'm going to be, for, they're going to be frying that up in the uh, newly purchased <laughs> deep fryer <laughs> that he brought with us. <laughs> that he, yes, yes. We have a traveling deep fry uh, situation. So yeah, and yeah. tomorrow we're going to um, get a pontoon boat and we're going to float. We're going to yes. try that. So I'm super excited yeah. to try that. Yeah, it is actually, that is probably the most peaceful way to, to do it, especially if you start early in the morning because yeah. you'll, you'll um you'll make your way 
towards the dam and then okay. you just basically float and really the only thing that you have to do is just make make sure you course correct yep. as you kind of veer off towards the the banks but i mean it's great and generally it's a pretty chill crowd yeah. in the morning like you don't not seeing sea dews or anything like that yeah it was there. it yeah. definitely got a lot busier as the yes. as the day progressed the sea dews go in pretty yes. quick and, yeah. and as you can see behind us it's not very wide yeah so you have a and it's a i mean there's a you can go pretty fast in there it's, oh, it's not a no wake yeah. zone so yeah they yeah. uh the docks definitely start rocking yep yep if you if you um get easily motion sick uh, that's not the place you want to be. Yes. For sure. Yes. But we are going to go out tonight and we're going to try some evening fishing mm. with that. So I'm excited to try yeah. that too. Yeah. There is a lot of, uh, it's a humbling experience. This is really the only place I've ever fished. So maybe there's, okay. maybe I could be successful other places. I would love that. Yeah. I, would love, I would love to feel successful. Um, but the, the uh, like you said, the current, a lot of times it'll take your line and you really have no idea where it's going. Yeah. Because... And there's also, um, I, I don't know if they call it, if it's really seaweed, but we call it seaweed or lake yeah. weed or whatever. Um, vegetation. A, a vegetation. Yeah. There you vegetation. go. Vegetation. Yeah. Um, a lot of times that that's what's on your, on your I mind. did catch a lot of that. You did. I did. But that's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it is. But to, to see Tala get, get yeah, the hunt. biggest one. Uh, no, just to see her get one was, yeah. was excited. So now we got to get Piper on one. But Yeah. So do you... Um, as you have these adventures with Todd and you mm -hmm. bring your girls along, what level of participation? I mean, obviously, Todd caught a fish, yep. Um, and you're hoping that you know Piper will catch one too. What level, like, how do you approach getting them involved in what you you guys are doing? I think, as well, kind of going back to so with me being a teacher, a big part of teaching is modeling, mm -hmm. and I think modeling great. for them a great experience mm -hmm. um they don't see us argue and fight over you know i mean yes we're competitive mm -hmm. about it but it's all in fun and good nature and when things don't go right they don't see us fighting arguing and all that yeah. it's it's a very positive experience so and i think when it's a positive experience it just breeds like they want to be part of it yeah um and so tala has really i've always enjoyed fishing it's always kind of been my favorite I love water I love being mm. on water near water and um I want to learn how to fish the Pier Marquette which is um a river up by us which is oh, trout really? fishing um it's got browns that come through and I don't know how to do it but I also am going to take the knowledge that I'm gaining from this trip and take that to that um that river at home because I think I can fish it the same way yeah um so to be able to do that and try that i'm i'm excited for that i also like that i can go in the river yeah. there and yeah. the kids can't get to me yeah so that's yeah. kind of fun too yeah so you're just some like mom time creating <laughs> creating space. a boundary yes yes be like mama can not help you i'm in the water go talk to daddy <laughs> yeah yeah well i do that is um i i do really like what you're saying about being a modeling. Yes. Uh, um, I think one of the things that I appreciate about learning new things with your children or learning, learning new things in front of your children, which is always very humbling. Yes. Is that like you, they need to understand that you don't have all the answers, mm -hmm. but that you're, you're going to figure it out. You have the support of other people. And it's okay that you don't know all the answers. It is. L life and, is a learning process. Yes. And, um, something is real wrong if somebody says like, oh, I, I know all the, I know all the answers. And I'm like, mm, no, you don't. No, you don't. I don't think so. Um, there's a, there's a, there's a sense of honesty. I think when, when your children do see you a little bit frustrated and your partner is able to, um, either console mm -hmm. or support. Um, I think those are really valuable things. I think that's one of the things that I enjoy the most about uh, Tyler hunting is the, the, the troubleshooting aspect, but then the, uh, the participation, the, the level of participation that's available because we're different thinkers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I, I really enjoyed watching your kids. Cause it, I mean, that's really, 
when we first started coming to the lake, we didn't know how to do anything. Well, when, really, our kids are about the same ages. Oh, yeah. Your yeah. kids when you started coming. That's exactly Just right. It's kind of down memory lane probably a little oh, bit, too. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> well, and, I mean, one of the things that we want to mention about Lake Tanicomo is that because it is um, the on the other side of a dam, all that water that we were talking about is cold. Yeah, 45 degrees. 45 degrees. I will never forget when we arrived. I don't know what my boys were thinking when we said there's a cold lake. Uh, they both just jumped right in. Uh, they got out real fast. <laughs> really fast. I mean, and it's just things like that. Like, learning them. Like, yep. that is something they talk about a lot. And I'm like, you probably don't want to tell that story because it sounds dumb. <laughs> 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 but they still do. But they still do. They still do. So um, what is your next adventure, uh, Todd? You know, um, I'm not sure right now. I know Todd is going on the crane hunt um, in Texas in... September? Uh, no, December. December. Right. Um, he'll do that. So, I mean, we've got deer, deer season coming up. I've got school yet, so I can't... Um, he gets out a little bit earlier for Christmas break than we do, so I won't be able to do that. Um, I... I would say besides um, seeing if we can do, besides obviously deer hunting, the two things that I think we'd like to try to do um, is see if we can get, the, the Pier Marquette is also known for steelhead on top of the, the brown trout. steelhead? A uh, fish? Yes. Yep. So bigger. Oh. And okay. so, and salmon going up. So I am hoping that we can try to, you know, learn a little bit more about some yeah. of the, the salmon runs. Um, What's a salmon run? The one the salmon go upstream. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, yeah. just like in Dumb and Dumber. Like yeah. the, like the, okay, <laughs> I got it. And then um, also getting our, our Vesla, getting her, getting Remy out on some wild birds. Like that's probably oh. if I had any goal for us this year besides filling the freezer, which obviously is kind of a, yes, a no-brainer, yes. um, is to get her on some wild birds. We've done a lot of preserves in our area. We don't have wild. I mean, there are pheasants, but we're not going to find one. Oh, gosh. And, and yeah. yeah, so yeah. to be able to take her and look for grouse and woodcock um, up north, that is probably my biggest goal, you know. Yeah. And, and we have no idea how to do that. Yeah. Um, so that, that will definitely be an adventure. You know what my goal is, is to listen to this recording write down all the words and animals that you've just mentioned and look them up. I love it. I'm going to Google it. Google, look for pictures. Yes. No, that's uh, awesome. We, well, I'm curious. I'm, I'm curious about these things. I don't know what our next adventure is going to be. Um, but I, what I will say is that I am super pumped about the connections that I now have yes, and any future couch talks that we might do. We should probably do one about recipes because we were just talking about Yes. That. I think doing one on recipes and in different ways that we can share. Yeah. What we were talking about earlier was that there's only so much that we could. We love ground venison. Yeah. Well, I can only eat so many tacos and, and yes. nachos and that kind of stuff. Yes. And what are some different things that we can do mm -hmm. with it and mm -hmm. branching out um, and sharing different ideas of things yeah. that we do, but are simple, simple for families because yeah, cause we're busy. Nobody, nobody ain't, no, ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. We don't. No. Yeah. Well, so thank you. You're so welcome. This was thank so much you. fun. And thank you. Follow Session Family for listening. Can't wait to catch up with everyone again soon on the next Couch Talk. Thank you.